Apples are a popular snack for horses, but a school science project by an island teenager shows they shouldn't have too many. 15-year-old Kaylee Carter looked at her own horse's blood sugar levels. When I did this project, two of our horses were actually insulin resistant. Um, so on top of horses having a really sensitive digestive tract, um, the, they, those two horses could barely have any sugar. Carter found some of her horse's blood sugar levels rose after just two apples. After that, she was worried they could get sick, but the results were different with one of her horses. The one surprise I got was that my horse, Standy, who's a retired standard bred, um, she was barely affected by the apples, um, a lot less than the other three horses, which is most likely because she's a race horse. Well, she's retired now, but um, she has a much higher metabolism than um, our other three. Carter's project started at school. Then she went to the National Science Fair. Now she's going overseas all the way to the United Arab Emirates, to the International Science Fair. She's the second islander ever to go, and she has already shared her project with local veterinarians. A lot of them shared it with their clients and everything. So um, my project did help with that. And um, hopefully everyone who has seen my project um, online or at the science fairs, um, hopefully they can learn something about horses and their sensitive digestive systems. You see a lot of, uh, a lot of younger kids, uh, younger people, kind of lost in today's world and to see um, you know, your own child have such passion and direction, um, I'm not worried about her for future. She's going to go places and, and we're excited. Carter is hoping this project will lead to bigger things later in life. She wants to study at the Atlantic Veterinary College in Charlottetown and focus on large animals, working with horses. Connor Lamont, CBC News, Wood Islands.